Back in the 1980s, I was an awkward 13-year-old in my first year of middle school. I was super shy and insecure. I got teased and bullied a bit. Because I had so few friends, I often didn't have anyone to eat lunch with, so I would just go hide out in a classroom by myself. I was not happy with how my life was unfolding at that point. When it came to style, I was clueless. Can anyone else relate? <laughs> For lack of better ideas, I copied my mother's look, <laughs> including that unfortunate short layered mullet hairstyle. I wanted to be a sophisticated lady, so I had the style of a middle-aged woman and apparently a passion for mimes. <laughs> I didn't realize how my image was perpetuating my unhappy situation. But things were shifting. I was about to make a discovery that would change the course of my story. I started to pick up some clues about style that was more age-appropriate and flattering to me. I grew up my hair, got contacts, practiced makeup techniques, and by the summer before 10th grade, I transformed, kind of like a caterpillar to a butterfly with big 80s hair. <laughs> and when I showed up for school, people noticed. To go from being overlooked or teased to getting all this positive feedback felt amazing. And with my new inner confidence, uh, with my new image came a new inner confidence. I started to make more friends. I got the courage to try new things like softball team and cheerleading. My story veered in a whole different direction that I liked a lot more. I was amazed at this new power I discovered just from changing how I put myself together. I thought, wow, if this worked for me, it could work for others and a seed was planted for my future career as a style coach. Fast forward to today, after more than a decade working in the field of personal image, after helping many different people experience transformation, I can say with confidence that changing your image can actually transform your life. Now I know that many of us struggle with what our image should be especially because mainstream culture feeds us pictures of certain ideals. One of these for women has been the classic Barbie doll. Tall, thin, long blonde hair. Yes, basically a younger version of me. But our culture is moving in the right direction to celebrate a diversity of all different body sizes, shapes, and colors. Your Style doesn't have to conform to a specific ideal. Your best authentic image will serve your purpose. So how exactly can your image transform your life? Today I'm going to show you three ways. Number one, it can change how you feel about yourself, your inner narrative. Number two, it can change how others perceive you and number three, it can change the kinds of opportunities and people you attract. There's a quote, never underestimate the power of a good outfit on a bad day. Style doesn't fix you, but it can help you feel better about yourself. Psychological research has shown that the clothes we wear affect our behavior, mood, confidence, even the way we interact with others. This is a phenomenon coined by researchers Adam and Galinsky called enclothed cognition. Galinsky states, it has long been known that clothing affects how other people perceive us as well as how we think about ourselves. A great example of this is a woman I worked with named Yolanda. When we met, she had recently lost her job due to a downturn in the economy and was freelance consulting. It was a very challenging time in her career and in her life. This is Yolanda before. As with all my clients, we walked through a process I used to identify her true personality, visual preferences, body type, face shape, coloring, 
and how she wanted to be perceived. And then we redefined her image using wardrobe, hair, and makeup. Yolanda had a transformation. She, yeah, right? <laughs> she loved it. It was very well received. But what I found fascinating is that years later, I asked her to reflect on the impact of this whole transformation in her life. And she said, it gave me a fresh perspective on myself that I didn't even know I needed, and then ultimately gave me the resilience to get through one of the toughest points of my life. Going through this process gave me authentic confidence and helped me feel good in my own skin. She said, all the little things add up. You stand up straighter, you feel better. So not only can your image change how you feel about yourself, it can change how others perceive you. The way you present your image is telling a story, whether you realize it or not. Have you ever stopped to think about what your story is communicating? If someone had to describe you using three, to, three or four adjectives just based on how you put yourself together, what might they say? Relevant? Creative? Contemporary? Haphazard, disorganized, scattered, friendly, simple, supportive. This is Ben. When Ben came for an image consultation, he was in a background supportive role in his job. He typically wore baggy, untailored clothing, as you can see here, and didn't bother with haircuts too often. After going through you know, the discovery and consultation process, Ben had a transformation. And <laughs> yes, and now his outside communicated qualities he already had inside. Creativity, competence, intelligence, leadership. And shortly after this transformation, his whole life changed. He got engaged and then married to a dynamic leader and advocate. He was offered a leadership position at an organization where he was now often center stage in front of large audiences. Would all that have happened for the old version of Ben? Redefining his image gave him more credibility and helped position him for promotion. He was taken more seriously as a result of his new look. It changed how people perceived him. And number three, your image can change the kinds of opportunities and people you attract. According to one university study, people make key decisions about us in the first seven seconds of contact. How many times in life do you have a brief encounter, an introduction, a chance meeting, when you don't have the time to overcome an image that's sending the wrong message? First impressions? can open or close doors. All that money you spent on education, all that therapy you've had, the character work you've done, you know, your strong work ethic, you may not have the time to present your qualifications. So the more you can communicate through your image, the better chance you have at attracting the people and opportunities you want. My mentor had a remarkable experience with this. Carla has been a pioneer and a visionary in the field of personal image and color for many decades. Her book, The Triumph of Individual Style, has been taught at fashion schools and has been called a Bible to image consultants. In her early 60s, her career seemed to be winding down. But like many people feel in midlife and beyond, she was not done. She had so much more to offer and the potential for her greatest impact yet. But she had gradually settled into the convenience of a low-maintenance style and image. Her visual story was now communicating the impression of pleasant, safe, conservative, unremarkable. But that's not who she was. Furthermore, it was not serving her purpose or the impact she still wanted to make. So at that point, she allowed me to come alongside 
as her personal stylist with a fresh perspective. Taking that same process and applying it, Carla, too, had a big transformation. Now, her image conveyed who she was. Relevant, modern, creative, iconic expert. And with her new look came new opportunities. After this transformation, she started to get more invitations to speak and teach around the world. More and more people traveling to her from many different countries to take her courses. And they would consistently say that her image attracted them. That when they saw her in person or in pictures, she looked relevant. She looked credible, like someone they wanted to learn from. Redefining her image changed the people and opportunities she attracted. It transformed the narrative of her career and her life. So today, I've shown you three ways that your image can transform your life. How you feel about yourself, how others perceive you, and the kinds of people and opportunities you attract. Any one of these could make a difference. But when you combine all three together, it can have a huge impact. So today, I hope to spark a new sense of possibility that you can use your image to help write your life's story. Now, the reality is it takes skill to pull it together. It is hard to achieve an effective transformation on your own. As you saw today, even style experts can benefit from a fresh perspective. So for some of you, taking action could mean working with a style coach, aka personal stylist or image consultant. If your resources are very limited, you could ask a stylish friend or a career mentor for their feedback and ideas about your image. Maybe you can relate with how I felt early on and you are ready to redefine your image and get some breakthroughs. Ready to transform from a caterpillar to a butterfly. Your wings are going to look totally different than mine and be absolutely unique to you. But the important thing is that you do emerge with new confidence, spread your wings, and fly. Use the power of image to transform your life. Thank you. <laughs>